John Simons can stroke it as well. With just nine players coming in, they've been in a lot of games this year. Here's a lob for Austin Stewart. Fowler inside, wide open corner three for Stewart. Yes, sir. Eight seconds on the shot clock. This is where he's been dynamite behind the arc. Goodness, three seconds up ahead. Fowler spots up three, bingo. Ball goes down low. Good look from three, and that's through. Seven on the clock, tough shot, wow. Couldn't get the kind roll over the basket. And Fowler ahead to Meyer, who's wide open. Flushes with one hand. Best if they're gone unknown. There's a nice triple. We saw a lot of those in the first half. Well, that's one thing with his game. I mean, he's a great shooter, but he has to be able to start taking people off the dribble better. Shot clock running down. Fowler finishes the Chippewas to get their 20th win. 10th in the conference, 15th at home, and they Get the revenge win against the Cardinals, who beat them by 18, and Muncie Chippewas will get them here by 23. A nice win for Keno Davis and his staff. Any recognition that Chris Fowler gets um, is more than justified and, and doesn't even say enough. Uh, of all the things written about Chris, it's, it's quite amazing what he's been able to accomplish. Um, from day one till here. It's a blessing to have, to be able to do this in Mount Pleasant in front of these fans who have been here with us. Uh, my family got to be here to see it as well, but you know, I got to share this with my teammates and none of this is possible without my teammates being here or making the shots that they do or putting in the extra work that they put in. And then the coaches putting us in position to succeed. Like none of this happens without that. So I'm thankful for those guys and then the people that came to support.